positive and negative expressions. Um, there is not a lot of grammar to these. I don't know, I'm not really sure why they include them in the grammar lesson, but they're actually more like vocabulary words. So plan on learning these more like you learn vocabulary words. And it's one really good thing about them. Um, they each have a match, or I guess you could say an opposite. So for every affirmative expression, there is a negative expression. And it's really easy to learn things like that when they come in pairs, all right? So let's take a look for pronunciation's sake. You've got alguien and nadie. You've got algo and nada. Algún, alguno. Ningún, ninguno. And you notice that some of those have a few plural and uh, feminine endings as well. Going to keeping on through the list. Siempre, nunca, jamás. O, o, and ni, ni. And the last two, también and tampoco. Okay, now let's take a look at some examples of these in use. I'll go through number one there. Hay alguien en la clase? To use the negative expression in the answer, no, no hay nadie. Is there someone in the class? No, there is no one. Dos. ¿Quieres algo para comer? No, no quiero nada. Do you want something to eat? No, I don't want nothing. Tengo algún libro aquí. No tengo ningún libro. I have some book here. I don't have none book. Siempre estudio el español. Nunca estudio el español. I always study Spanish. I never study Spanish. The fifth one, this, uh, this merits a little explanation. Either you're going to study or you're going to sleep. I'm neither going to study nor go to sleep. Number seis. Mi amiga tiene un perro. Yo también. That should say yo. Let me fix that. Yo también. Mi amiga no tiene ningún perro. Yo tampoco. So the first one, my friend has a dog. Me too. The second one, my friend does not have any dog. Me neither. All right. So those are examples using them. Pause them. Listen to them again if you need. Um, just wanted to bring up a few points of explanation. You might have heard me say the double or maybe triple negative throughout some of these sentences. In Spanish, you can do that. You can have as many negatives as you want in your sentence, and it's still negative. You guys have seen that whenever we mention no twice in some of our answers. You've seen, you've seen all of these words at some point. Um, we just didn't make a note of them. Now over here, the bottom left-hand corner, I've got some examples of note, and the first one is just that. It's a multiple negative in a statement. It is, no tengo nada nunca, which literally says, I don't have nothing never. No tengo nada nunca. I don't have nothing never. The second one, no hay ningún diccionario. Literally, there is not none dictionary, okay? But we would translate that to there aren't any dictionaries, okay? Remember, translation and use and is something very, very different. And you guys are learning the subtleties of that right now. The third example, no tiene dinero nadie, followed by nadie tiene dinero. And I put that, in, that example there because in the first one, you see we've got the word no, negating our action, okay, saying that don't have, that's basically what it's saying right there, don't have. Well, if you say that no one has money, then it's implied that there is no money there. So, no tiene dinero nadie is one way of saying it, or nadie tiene dinero. So if we put a negative expression in front of our verb, like we're doing right here, it also makes the verb negative. And the last one, tienes libros? Tienes libros? 
C, tengo algunos. We are using our affirmative expression as a pronoun here because algunos has taken the place of libros, so it's being used as a pronoun. I want to point out really quickly as well, this one here. You might notice that in the affirmative, it has a plural option, algunos, algunas, but in the negative, there is no ningunos, ningunas. Why is that? Because you can't have plural of nothing, all right? So if you have nothing, you can't have more than one nothing. That's why you will never see this right here written in the plural, okay? All right. If you all have any questions about any of this information, please email me, give me a call, let me know in class. Okay, ciao, gracias.